it's me again crazy bag lady oh a few minutes ago i actually thought it was wednesday i was like oh my god it's wednesday and then i thought don't nick on wednesday it's not wednesday oh everybody else get mixed up in the morning so it's tuesday and it's raining Woohoo! it's raining which is wonderful for the garden and everything else but I'm at the dog groomers this morning, which means I'm going to get wet. Ooh. So I wish that I was at the dog groomers yesterday and then today I could have been painting because painting while it's raining is perfect because you can't go out. Well, you can go out, but you get wet. Um, yeah, so it's a bit annoying that it's raining today, but never mind. It's lovely for the ground and the gardeners and, you know, we need rain. So it is good, but it's raining. So hello, everybody. Hello, Peggy. Right, so calendar of the day, Tuesday, it's Tuesday, Jane. Um, Hope meets you halfway on a bridge called Faith. Oh, that's so sweet, isn't it? So let's hope we have a lovely wet Tuesday. Finally, I've put some clothes on. I've been wandering around in my bra and pants because I didn't know what on earth to put on. So I thought, mm, I don't want shorts on because it's absolutely problem with rain. When you, to the, when you look at the weather on your app, it's, it's only 16 degrees and I thought, oh, I'll be freezing. So I've put trousers on. It feels so strange to have trousers on. You know, and you've been wearing uh, shorts all week. And then I thought, but I'm hot. I don't want a big fat to hop on. So I've got this little like vest top thing on. Got my arms out again. Don't like my arms. Look at my bingo wings. You can face your fears. Bingo wings. <laughs> anyway, so my groom has just messaged me and said, can I come a little bit later? So we were supposed to be there for half past nine, but now I've got to get there for 10. So it's given us a little bit of extra time. So uh, we need to plan our calories and get some breakfast. And I'm not sure what all my friends are crying at. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's the matter? I can't take you for walks. I haven't got time. And it's pouring rain. And why is there a plant pot in the kitchen? Why is there a plant pot in here? Hey, why is there a plant pot in the kitchen? What? What are you trying to tell me? I know it's me. I'm so glad that you're happy to see me. <laughs> this is not the first time you've seen me this morning, though. What? What are you trying to tell me? I know, but we're not going out because it's raining. <coughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> we often have these conversations. This is what my day has resorted to. I'm nearly 45 and I spend my day talking to a white dog like this. <laughs> I do have to question myself sometimes. And look at my kitchen. I've got my blooming clothes there in here. I've got stepladders in here. Everything in here because obviously I'm still painting my conservatory, so everything's been turfed in the kitchen, and oh, I just want to get it all finished. Hmm. Even Winifred's up and about this morning. Has the rain got you out of bed? <laughs> I don't think you'd want to go for a walk in this one, eh? Definitely not. Look how dark it is. It literally looks like night time. I'm not going for a walk. <laughs> I'm definitely not going for a walk in this. I don't even know I'm going to get to the groomers in this. We're not used to this rain. It's lovely, but we're not used to it. Breakfast. So, breakfast this morning. We've got 30 grams of uh, Tesco All Brand, not All Brand, Brand Flakes with Sultana in. And blueberries and skim milk. So, I'm using me, my Get Shite non list. Anybody else ordered one? I think they're only £2.99. They're so good. Um, they are quite motivating, actually. So, uh, today I'm grateful for so far the rain from the garden and using my new umbrella that we got from Charity Shot. And then these are some of the jobs that I need to do. Um, hopefully, we'll get most of it done today. Finally, she's realised we're not going out in the rain, bless her. Uh, the link to my little friend's Etsy is all down below where you can get these from. That's so good. I love them. Right, boring job. So we need to wash up, empty dishwasher. Um, and then we've got about, ooh, about half an hour till we've got to set off for the groomers. <laughs> what are you doing? Is the rain making you go daft? 
lipstick of the day. So it looks darker on camera than it is in real life. Um, so lipstick of the day today is Avon 16 hour power stay lip colour in Barely Bait. So I treat myself to a new tube of it because it's really, really lovely. It sets like concrete, doesn't come off, doesn't move. And you can just put it on and not have to think about it for the rest of the day till bedtime when you have to get a wipe and scrub it off. So good. Anyway, we need to go in a minute and it's still raining. The only lucky thing, lucky thing was, uh, my appointment was half past nine and then my groomer messaged me and said I could have come at ten. I don't remember I've already told you this. Um, so we do get to go a little bit later, which is good because the rain has slowed down a little bit, whereas before it was really coming down. It has slowed down a tiny bit, but not a lot, so that's slightly better. So anyway, I'm waffling. I don't want to go out in the rain, but we need to, so we need to get going. Right, I think we're ready. I've had to put my boots on because... Oh, the only God. thing I've got that's waterproof, I can't really wear my sandals. We're just going to get drenched. I really don't want to go out in it. Right, let's go. We've arrived. It's still raining. Oh my God, it's absolutely revolting. Okay, so that's the dogs all dropped off. So first up, we've got to come, we've come to the Dropbox locker, which is also outside. Um, so we've got to drop a parcel off and then we might need to charge a shop. Not quite sure how long uh, they're going to be. Normally about an hour and a half, I think. Little Florence definitely didn't want to go, bless her. And I just can't believe how much it's raining. So I've driven round to the charity shop. <laughs> Kia, that's it. I'm in my hubby's little Kia thing. This is the little car with no aircon, or it's got aircon but it doesn't work. Um, it's ever so tiny, it's really funny. Um, so I've arrived at a different charity shop and I can't believe they're actually putting stuff outside. They're covering it up, but they're putting stuff outside. It's gonna be absolutely drenched. So I guess they're hoping for the rain to stop in a bit, but the stuff's gonna be all wet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think that's all right there, don't you?
back in the car. So I've been in there absolutely ages. They must have thought it was an absolute wally. Um, because they've got six books for a pound. Where can you go and get six books for one pound? Uh, so me and my lovely friend Rachel have decided we're going to have a bit of a book club. So we're starting to share books that we buy. So I stood there choosing and I was there ages, but I've chose six books. Let's hope I found at least one good one. So now I need to go to the supermarket and get some fruit. There is one more charge shot. I don't know if we'll have time to go in it, which is quite near the groomers. Uh, if we've got time, we'll go. They had hardly any fruit in there, so I've drove around to a little co-op. Oh, they're ready. So I need to go and get them. I'm actually about 10 minutes away. So I'm in the um, adjoining village. I'm not even in the right village. We need to go and get them. Right. We're back in the car, nice clean doggies. Let's go home. Right, we've made it home. I'm not sure if you can see back down there, the whole street is flooded. It is like a river, wow. Ah, oh, friends reunited. Have you missed them, Dolly? Have you missed them? Yes, the bottom's all clean. <laughs> okay, so I've been on the phone to my little mum, bless her, putting the world to rights and discussing the poor people in the submarine and oh, horrible. Right, so dinner, we've got some cooked chicken, some little tomatoes, and a crumpet with some very low fat uh, butter stuff on it. I'm to enjoy it. Mm, so it's now half past one, and I'm thinking, what do I do now? Do I put my old clothes on and do a bit more painting? But because it's so dark, I really can't be asked. That's me being a naughty, lazy monkey. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, can't make my mind up. What shall we do, Winifred? The quicker I do the painting, the better, because then I can put all my stuff away. Um, oh, I did do my ironing though while I was on the phone to my mum, um, so that was something constructive. But I don't know what to do next. I really need to motivate myself. <laughs> so me and Dolly are having a lovely cuddle. You're so cuddly, aren't you? Like a little cat. I love you so much. Um, anyway, so I need to show you my books that I bought. So these are the books I chose. I cannot believe there were six books for a pound. And I cannot believe how long I was in there looking at them. <laughs> so I bought this one purely because the front cover was so cool. It's like 3D that comes up and um, it's a bit like Sex and the City apparently. So I thought that was really cool. This looks really good. Uh, Rad me about being in love. And oh, I just thought that was so nice. Um, this I bought because her books are absolutely amazing. They're quite sort of set in the olden days but they're so good they always have a gripping storyline i thought oh, really good this one a lonely marriage an old flame a fatal attraction i thought that sounded a bit juicy this one was quite a quirky interesting one um but i thought it looked really good and then this one i kind of got for ruby um because i know she was or is a famous like vlogger and youtuber and stuff so I thought it was quite a young book. I don't know if it's suitable for teenagers. I think it possibly might be. Um, but again, it looked really good. So they were a bargain for a pound. <laughs> Hold Florence. She's hiding behind the cushion. Are you hiding? Have you made your own little den? Bless her. So I said to the groomer, please can you give her face good wash because she got really like crusty bits around her eyes. And I tried to wash them the other day, but she wouldn't let me do it. So the groom has done a really good job of her face. You're all nice and clean. You look years younger now. You looked all scruffy and homeless before, and now you look wonderful. Did you have a good wash? Did you have a good wash? Yes, I know you're there. Did you have a good wash, my darling? Oh, you do look nice and clean now. Anyway, I need to go and get my old clothes on. Um, and do a bit more painting because if I don't it'll never get finished will it and it really is the perfect day to do it because it is cooler right I've got my scruffs on again this is all like smelly and horrible because obviously I've been really hot in it once to wash it <laughs> but it'll be fine uh, so I'm off to do a bit more painting I'm going to put Harry Styles on I've got a Harry Styles CD for my birthday James has bought it mate I've got two um, Harry Styles have got three CDs that's right Dolly's running around with a plant pot She's now going to run past me <laughs> with a plant pot. And she's now took an old plant pot into my clean sitting room. 
Anyway, so James has bought me a Harry Star CD for, my, well, two for my birthday. There is three, so perhaps my hubby might get the last one if I asked him. But yeah, I'm very excited to have Harry Stars in my car. I love a good old CD. My husband was like, why on earth would you have a CD? Just do it on like Spotify or whatever. I'm like, no, I like having a CD in the CD player. <laughs> I have no words. I don't want that in my sitting room. That is an old, dirty plant pot out the garden. Do you care? Uh, Dolly! No good keeping still. If you keep still, I can still see you. Yeah, that's naughty. It's coffee break time. I've got bloody hiccups. Right, so... <laughs> It's got so annoying. So I've got all the way around on the bit I wanted to do. But I've had to start because I've got to go and get rid of the bus and I've got to do my hubby's tea because he's after work again tonight. So annoying. So I need to wash my hands and get changed. And I'm so excited about my tea tonight. We've got fake pizza, but it's not the normal one I do. It's a different one. <gasps> so excited to make it. Oh, how exciting. So cheese. Tortilla mini wrap with another wrap on the top. Same again, so make a mirror with one, and that goes on the top. Ooh. Okay, off we go. To the bus. And it actually looks like it's gonna rain again. Okay, so I've got Ruby, and the road is flooding. So on the way back, I'm gonna get Ruby to film the flood. That flood's terrible, isn't it? So back to this. So we've got tomato puree and barbecue sauce mixed together. Mixed herbs sprinkled over it. Then we've got some chicken I cooked earlier on. So I'm going to slice the chicken up and put it on and slice the peppers up and put them on. A bit more cheese on the top and a mini baby bell sliced down the top. And that's it. And that's it. Mega, mega easy. Uh, you literally put it in the oven for 10 minutes. And that's it. So I can't wait to try it, but I'm not going to have it just yet. But my husband's going to have it soon. So that's mine. I'm just going to keep it to one side till I'm ready. Wow. That's my husband's cooked. I'll have to see what he thinks. Let's do it. 20 past six. I'm in my work clothes again. So I've just done some more painting. So now I'm just waiting for my little pizza to cook. I'm so worn out. I'm covered in paint again. Oh, my nails are absolutely wrecked. My hands are so like worn out. Oh. Looks lovely. So obviously because it's got double cheese in it, so in there is all like melted cheese. Oh, look at this. <gasps> My husband said it was absolutely delicious. He went, it's just amazing. So I'm hoping it's gonna be lovely. Yes, what time it is? What time is it? <laughs> is it tea time? <laughs> Come on then, Winnie Fred. Oh, you know, don't you, my dear? Right, there you go, Winnie Fred. Okay, Dolly Wally. Let's find your dinner. Wow. I'm speechless. There's not many times I'm speechless, but I'm speechless. That homemade pizza was absolutely amazing. Like, I'm so full. Um, and it just melted in your mouth. It wasn't dry. And it was like, oh, gosh, it was so good. And so simple and so easy to make. I just loved it. I would definitely be making it again. I loved what I had last night. I've loved what I had tonight. It's so lovely. Anyway, my dears, I'm going to love you and leave you because I'm going to, going to go back and do a little bit more painting. I'm that good, as you can see. I'm just absolutely worn out, but I want to get it done and I cannot believe how much painting there's been to do. It's like, it's horrible. <laughs> I've had enough and don't forget I'm doing this single-handedly. So nobody else in my house likes decorating. My husband hates painting with a passion, so he definitely wouldn't paint. Um, so it's just me and a brush <laughs> and i'm worn out so anyway if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life then please subscribe to my channel come and find me on instagram as mrs crazy bag lady my dogs have got instagram which is three fluffles my website's down below my vintage shots down below my avon's down below it's all down below and they still haven't found the submarine it's been on the news and you think it's so sad i keep hoping for a little bit of good news that they find the submarine and they haven't and it's so sad so Let's hope tomorrow they get some good news. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.